Hi, so I'm not sure if this tutorial is going to be voiceover or I'm just going to talk through it. This is going to be the intro. I'm just going to get right into it. I had this entire Sephora set of sample sized primers of various brands and one of them is you know a benefits professional i only used this once like a while ago i do get the hype now i think it really does the job of blurring the pores i'm just gonna apply it in the center of my face where the pores are usually enlarged there and then i'm going to use my good old becca first light primer this is definitely one of my favorite primers. I y'all, I don't know what I'm doing with this tutorial. I don't think I have a direction. <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to be a Raya themed tutorial. This time I'm going to use um, my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD foundation. I'm in the shade beige. This is the alternate foundation if I want to, you know, get a uh, glass-like skin. Usually, I would use my Lancome Tint Idol because that stuff is amazing. I love it so much. That is literally my favorite foundation for everything. I'm gonna use this ColourPop concealer. I'm in the shade Medium 20. Yeah, that is an eyelash, okay? Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to be powdering just the under eye area with this Beauty Bakery loose powder. I'm not going to powder my face yet because I'm going to get back to the face later. Okay, for the eyebrows, I'm going to use this NYX eyebrow gel just to switch up my eyebrow look. I haven't used this in a long time. Oh my god! I thought it dried up. <laughs> wow, this. My dumbass forgot to apply concealer to my scars, like this one right here. You know, I have a lot of scars. I've had a lot of them over the years, but all of them are gone due to the best vitamin C serum ever. Not sponsored. I wish I was because that shit is expensive. These are all new scars, obviously. Probably in about two months they'll be gone i guess i think you guys know what it is and you can get it from hermo it's wish trend pure vitamin c serum c21.5 uh for today's eye look i'm going to use one of my favorite eyeshadows ever and this is the color pop jelly eyeshadow this color is honeymoon it can look like you're wearing three eyeshadows with just this one product it's like iridescent purple with multi glitters so I think put them all in there get them on see can you see how pretty that is and super effortless normally when I wear this eyeshadow I don't need any other eyeshadows I just apply this on my entire eyelid and it looks great but today I want this to look to be cool toned so I'm going to be adding cool toned colors Okay, so I went off camera for a while to attempt to fix the mess that is this room and probably my life as well. Use this color first. Apply this on the outer part. Okay, okay. I'm seeing this. I like it, I like it. This gray, it's not really an ashy gray. It's more of like a purple gray which kind of goes well with this eyeshadow really. So I'm not gonna add a liquid liner, but I'm just gonna add an eyeliner using an eyeshadow. I'm going to use the same eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use this color. I'm going to use that color as an eyeliner and I do this a lot. I went and applied mascara and I hope you don't mind that I didn't show that step because it's literally just applying mascara. I used the NARS Climax Mascara I'm going to be applying false eyelashes, but not the entire strip. I've been doing this a lot lately because applying an entire strip is its a little bit too extra for me. I would cut a section of the original strip of the false eyelashes and just stick them at the end of my lash line, right here. It adds a little something. It kind of adds like the lift effect to your eyes. This one is with lash and this one is without. See how it kind of emphasizes the wing liner and then it 
just lifts up the eye so i do that a lot these days i cannot remember the last time i wore a full strip of eyelashes this is just a h&m lash glue which has been really good actually so i recommend and then i'm just going to paste it oh my god this is such a bad angle like i mean that really just added something honestly my vanity at the back is really a mess I just basically took out whatever I needed to use. All of my false eyelashes are in here. I'm going to contour just a little. Not really contour, just add bronzer actually. I'm going to use this e.l.f. bronzer palette. It's one of these like interchangeable palettes. So I'm just going to use a little bit of everything. Oh, that's too much. Then I'm going to add blush. This is the color pop. Ava Gutowski Mermaid Glow Blush. I'm just going to spritz my face first before I add highlight. This is just a Melvita spray. No, it's actually not just any spray. It's actually a witch hazel toner. This is the Laura Geller highlighter. And it's in the shade Gilded Honey. Which I've always wanted and I'm so happy that I have it already. Some up here. I don't know why I'm holding my brush like this. I think I'm just gonna pair this look with a nude lip. This is my favorite nude lipstick ever. The h &M lipstick in the shade Heyday. It's a perfect brown nude. I'm gonna pair it with a gloss. Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. So glossy. After what seemed like forever, I'm done. If you want to wear this for Raya, probably don't wear the lip gloss because you're gonna be eating a lot. I don't even know what this look is for, honestly. Like I'm just gonna give to you and go. Don't wear don't wear matte lipstick either. Matte liquid lipsticks are quite hard to maintain as well, especially when you're eating a lot, because some of them can be, you know, quite bad. They'll just start to crumble in the middle and that does not look pretty. I'm such a mess. I didn't even end this video properly, so bye!